Fairbanks, Alaska. Now, I'm on the University of Fairbanks, Alaska. Imagine going to that university. And up here there is a museum. A museum that gets a lot of praise for, I don't know, museum stuff. So, luckily it's up on this hill so you can see a great ways. So, I'm going to the Museum of the North. So, we'll see if this is worthwhile. The other thing I have to find out is whether or not they allow you to film. We'll find out shortly. Expedition Alaska. Seahorse onboard mortar crate. Huh. Well, it's a, just a, one of those. This outboard mortar feature in Grotto's uh, Geist early expedition to the Bering Strait. And the crate has housed the motor for many decades since its death. Field work. I guess, you know, if you were here, you can probably do a whole lot of work because there's a whole bunch of research centers, like the Arctic Research Centers here. It's probably doing a whole lot of um, stuff with, like, um, a stellar thing because you, can, you know, don't have a lot of pollution, light pollution or anything like that, so there's probably a lot of astronomy done here. Archaeology, I guess. You know, they, they have found dinosaur bones. Okay. Alpine adapted mammals. Marmot. Disappearing alpine. First, the habitat ecosystems on the high volume elevation trees and suitable phones. Since the retreat of the ice sheets once ago, they are shifting north and upwards. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, that makes sense. Seasonal molt. Their habitat is disappearing because the earth is getting warmer. Makes sense. Other than porcupine, the red fox. I think we saw, I saw a red fox. Ah, oh, so they, uh. Don't pet the marmot. <laughs> Good advice. Tooth and her moose. Just trench. That had to really suck coming up here. Okay. be a big grizzly. The one I saw wasn't quite that big. Oh, there's carvings on it, that's why. It's confusing. Petrified wood. Please touch. That feels like a rock. But approximately 55 million years old. Yes. 
Bear step bison. All the living musk and ox are presently symbolic of the early man in southern France and Spain. They are often depicted in bison cave painfully. Only a few of the paintings are fully colored. And bison used to live here. There's some debate whether or not they were hunted to extinction or they died in some other manner. Permafrost. Permafrost is permanently frozen ground near a rock. Yep, the permafrost is busy and why they have a lot of problems with construction. A lot of problems with construction because the ground can always move. Firearms. The brown bear. The difference between the grizzly bear and the brown bear is that the grizzly bear lives in the interior, the brown bear lives on the coast. Kind of. Mm. <laughs> Wolverines are actually in Alaska since they're so reclusive. They're hard to uh, track. And they're also hard to see. They, they keep very much to themselves. River otter. Early gold strikes. The early strikes incurred a trader prospectors. In the summer of 1884, discovered the Stewart Strait. Miners could just enough to bicycle. successful people were. Uh, of Denali. 1933, I guess some people were successful in the 20s. 43, a couple people. 47, 41% people got it. 48, 100% successful. 49, I guess success is largely based on um, weather.
basically 50%. Nuggets. You don't see those too often. Most of the time they get that flaky stuff. It's rare that you find nuggets like that size. For the most part, you can find little stones and stuff like this, which have to be melted down. That's a lot of money right there. This is what brought most of the people to Alaska originally. Gold, your fortune. Loose. That's an interesting sofa. Made almost completely out of uh, loose antlers. Crooked Road. Connecting the continents. on the oil industry. I got one of those. Killed by a lion. Lion like creature. Oddly enough, it wasn't eaten. Hmm. Uh, it was partially eaten and left for some reason. Which we will never know. skull of a dinosaur. This right here is a whale skull. A 
bowhead whale. The uh, Eskimos would hunt them. I think they're still allowed to. They can still gray whale skull. Um, 1989. Come on. <coughs> Dinosaurs. Eskimo art. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Those are the tools. Which they'd use. Do not touch. It's a caribou. Caribou can get a lot bigger than that, though. I'll show them cutting up a whale. I hear it doesn't taste very good. Birds. Lots of birds. You get birds that come all over the world to come there. And on their migration patterns come to Alaska. Some go to like uh, Middle East, even uh, Sub Sahara Africa. I think some even fly down to Australia to catch her on Alaska. Canadians say Jap unit off Alaska. Actually, this is true. Uh, the Japanese actually did uh, invade a few Aleutian Islands on the uh, coast of Alaska, and there was some very intense fighting there. It's technically the only time the United States was uh, invaded by a foreign power since, I think, 1812. Her tiny body was committed to the sea in the icy waters of the Gulf of Alaska. I didn't know at that time that was my baby sister being buried at sea. She was the first casualty. Interment camp. Oh. They had an internment camp here? Oh. Wow. Oh, they forced people to a I did not know they forced people to evacuate. About six months after Pearl Harbor, they were evacuated. Southeast. Each area has its own kind of geography. This is the southeast, the kind of like dribble there. Obviously, this is where the vast majority of people live because it's more habitable. Here you got your black bear, bald eagle. Sam get that big.
go feed the table. <laughs> Juno. Klondike Gold Rush. Got the people up here. I can gemstones. Topaz, Topaz. All the gemstones. I don't really know much about gems. Amber. Well, these are from all these other places. Brazil, Czechoslovakia, Diamond, Spiro, Burma. Plate tectonics. Oh, yeah. If you don't know that uh, Alaska is seismically active, you don't know a whole lot. Oh, here's some of the rocks in here. Geothite, graphite, gallia, pyrite. Be found all over Alaska. And a lot of those uh, plate tectonics here. Please touch. It's a big thing of quartz, I think. So, this is the upper floor. The upper floor is just an art gallery. So. Lamps, masks. See, this is older art from the indigenous people.
got an earthquake in 1904, like a 7.3. So that's where it was. Shifting populations. Severe earthquake. Didn't even really make uh, <laughs> much news in the known daily. The eruption of the century, June 6, 1912. Uh, so that's where it was. That's where the fallout was. They didn't put a, because it was a volcano, it's not a. <laughs> Kodiak wouldn't feel destroyed. <laughs> Made it off of something exterminated. Don't get those quakes too much anymore. Not so bad as reported at first. Seven point two in Denali. Nineteen thirty seven, seven point three. Obviously, something's going on with Stalin and uh, Japan. And that was up there, right near Fairbanks Circle. Seven point two Healy, where I was just at. Boom, and that was nineteen forty seven. Little damage in 1929, Healy, 6.1. From the north, 7.3. Usa, uh, probably nobody there. Yeah. This is the one, the 9.2, 1964. I knew there was one that was just amazingly freaking uh, cracked ice, ice rafting, power outages, radio silence, cracked ice, severe damage to Anchorage. Second largest earthquake in recorded history erupted. Too bad they don't have more on that. I really wish they had more on this one. The forgotten trembler. Shakiest in 30 years. Oh, Kurt right in Fairbanks. That was the one. That was the one. Long overdue. <laughs> oh, nineteen ninety-five. Fairbanks got lucky this time. <laughs> Hopefully they um you know, but there's going to be a major quake. I'm going to wait a few days until I'm out of it. This is, uh, updating. It's been 10 minutes since the last earthquake. So, there's where they're all occurring. It's so seismically active. The thing is, is that the vast majority of them are so, um, so low in magnitude they can't even be felt, except by, uh, well, obviously, you know, equipment is a lot more sensitive. So. <laughs> Quake 2002. Well, yes. Pipeline withstands Jacob. The other big one. <laughs> Denali 7.9. November 5th, 2002. A pretty good view. From the museum. This is where Anchorage, they do a lot of research here. Obviously, on the Aurora Borealis, the Arctic Ocean stuff that's going on. For the most part, the museum's pretty good. It's about, I think it's kind of worth it. I don't really understand. Do, do people really go places and buy soap as like gifts? I've noticed like every gift shop here has soap. Same. I, I don't get it. 